Good morning, you guys. Fix that a little bit. I know it's Sunday. I normally do not do anything on Sundays, but Aiden and James are still asleep. So, I had some things on my mind this morning. I wanted to pop up here and share them. I'm just wait a few minutes. If y'all pop up here, say, hey. I'm going to try to keep my voice down because Aiden, <laughs> coffee here. I know, Megan, Aiden and James are still asleep. It's a Christmas miracle. So, kind of whispering because I don't want to wake them up. I haven't had a shower yet because my shower's in my bedroom and the boys are still asleep. And sleep is more important. <laughs> They're still asleep, so I can do a few things this morning, and I was going to do this tomorrow, but I said to myself, Self, I bet more people will watch it this morning than on a Monday morning. So, I'm going to wait a couple more minutes, fix this crazy hair of mine. Megan, if y'all ain't doing nothing today, we're going to the pumpkin patch. So what we're gonna do today we're gonna have a very lazy day so y'all say hey and we'll start in just a minute that didn't make it any better but it's fine it is <laughs> what it is um i wanted to pop up here this morning because i had this on my mind for a few days now and i have it on my list of things to do tomorrow but i said to myself self I bet they'll listen on a Sunday versus a Monday. Good morning, Whitney. I wanted to really talk to you guys today about a day one. Because everybody has a day one. Maybe you've been in this business for a while now, but you haven't truly worked your business. So you haven't really had a day one. And the, the feedback that I got over the last week, I've had people say, well, Katie... When, I'm not like you. When I do follow-ups, I don't get orders. When I post on Facebook, I don't get orders. And I want to encourage you guys a little bit this morning and really make you realize that you're comparing your day one to my day thousand and one. That you're comparing your day one to somebody on this team's day one. And the problem with that is comparison is truly the thief of joy. When you watch other people promote or other people get high PRV or other people sponsor, you are comparing your start of your journey, your day one, to somebody that's been doing it for a while. And what many people fail to see, good morning, Kim. What many people fail to see is you might see my day 1,200. It's been almost four years since I've been doing this. You don't see the many times I've gotten discouraged the many times I've been told no, the many times I've been ignored, the many times I've tried and I failed. I have failed so many times in this business, y'all. I've failed so many times. I have sucked for a long time in the beginning of my business. There's things I've had to redo that I've had to try that didn't work for me. And I had to revise them. I had to revisit. I had to try new things. You don't see the failures. And I want to encourage you this morning that the failures are what bring on the success. If you don't fail, that means you didn't even try. If you don't fail in this business, you're not doing something right. Stop comparing your day one to my journey or to anybody else's journey because each and every person's journey is uniquely different. Every person's reason for doing this business is completely different. You might see somebody promote, but you also don't know how the hard work that it took for them to get there or how long they've been doing it to hit that promotion or how many times they failed. So I wanna encourage you guys this morning Maybe you've been doing this business for a while now, but you're not growing. You're not seeing the success that you want. I want you to sit back and say, have you even had a day one? Have you been consistent? Have you even tried? Have you watched Guide to Growth? Have you watched 
the trainings? Have you looked at the Google Drives? Have you soaked up the resources that are available to you? Good morning, baby daddy. I thought you were still asleep. James is popping up here and hear me this morning. Um, I want you to ask yourself this morning, have you had a day one? Be honest with yourself. Have you been consistent? Because I can promise you this, consistency is the only reason I've found success in this business. It took me seven months to book my first home party, y'all. It took, you don't know how many times I've revised my follow-up system because my customers were leaving me and going other places because they were taking care of them. You don't know how many times most of the people that I've sponsored have ignored me or have told me no and a year or two later decided to join. You don't see the amount of times I've, James is up here, my husband's up here watching, how many times I've cried and wanted to quit. How many times he's heard me say, I can't do this anymore. I can't do it anymore. There's nothing in me. I'm doing everything that I can. But here's the bottom line. Despite all of that, all of those feelings, all of those feelings of wanting to quit, wanting to give up, feeling like I could, it took me forever to get parties booked, y'all, because I don't know anybody. It took me forever to build a customer base because I didn't know what I was doing. Nobody joins this business and is an expert at it. Nobody joins and is like, I know all the things and I know Everything to be successful, that's not what happens. People find success because they fail. Because they found what didn't work. What didn't work. You have to suck. I say this a lot to my new people. You have to suck for a while. You have to suck. If you're not willing to suck, you're not going to get better. And I sucked for a very, very long time. I had no clue what I was doing. And then when I grew a team, I had a new idea how to lead them. I'm very much a follower. I'm very much an introvert. Good morning, Ivory, and congratulations on an awesome September. I no clue what I was doing. But I did know that if I was consistent, if I was consistent, and that's one thing that I can say over the last four years, I've been consistent. No matter how I feel, no matter what goes on in my life, I'm not going to cry this morning because y'all know I'm like a cry baby. I've had so much happen in the last couple years of my life, in my personal life, that I didn't think that I could do this. I didn't think that I could persevere through it because of how bad my heart was hurting or how bad my circumstances were. Or let's be real, how tired I was of just being emotionally, mentally drained. Real life happens, but I can tell you, that despite everything that went on in my personal life, those things were going to happen anyway. And I had to make decision, would I make permanent decisions based off temporary circumstances or temporary feelings? And so many people, I see it, they get discouraged or they have one bad month or two bad months and they throw everything that they've worked for away. I've seen it. I've seen it happen with directors and star directors. I've seen it. Why do I have a gray hair? Okay. <laughs> James Lassell. I got some gray hairs. Okay. Side note. And let's notice I got some good, some silver now. I've seen people throw everything that they worked for because they had a bad month. Bad months happen, you guys. Bad weeks happen. Bad days happen. I'm here to tell you. I can't promote any higher in this company. I'm as high as you can promote. And bad days still happen. Bad weeks still happen. Bad months still happen. Because that's life. But at the end of the day, this business was designed to be simple. And with systems, you can still be consistent. Y'all, there's days I wake up and I don't want to do anything for my business. And if it wasn't for my list of two or three things that I know I have to get done and make a priority, if it wasn't for that list, it wouldn't get done. Your vision has to be bigger than you. Your vision, your purpose, your deep-seated why on 
what this business can bring to your life and what this business can open doors for you and your family has to be bigger than your feelings. Feelings come and go. That's why I posted a challenge last week. I think it was Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday about taking 10 minutes to book parties. You book those parties, you're going to get your PRV. You're going to grow your customer base. Those tiny things, hear me for a minute. I'm about to take y'all to Cincy Church. Those tiny things that you think are insignificant or don't matter, build your business. That follow-up system, you taking care of people, that people, you just simply text and say thank you for your order and you keep in contact and build those relationships with them, that matters. Those tiny, tiny, tiny things add up. To create the big things. And I see it so often. I see people join. They're full of fire. But they get told no. Or they get ignored. And they get discouraged. And they say, this isn't for me. Guess what, you guys? This isn't for everything. Everybody. I'm just going to be real with you. This isn't for everybody. If somebody told you that this business is an easy one, it's not easy. But I can promise you this. It's worth it. It's worth hard days. I remember, y'all hear me tell me this story all the time. My first and fall winter season, I was not prepared. I had no clue what I was doing. And I would come home from work, 7, 8 o'clock. If you guys are in healthcare, you know how nursing is crazy. Nursing is insane. I was a nurse. I was a floor nurse and a nurse manager. And we were severely short staffed. So I was a front desk person. I was a nurse. I was the nurse manager, I was the vaccine coordinator, and I was the phlebotomist. I did the job of five or six people. I had no lunch break. I went in at 6 o'clock. I didn't get home till almost 8 o'clock. The last thing I wanted to do was follow-ups or package up an order. And I had a newborn that was still breastfeeding. And he was a, for those mamas, side note, breastfeeding is the hardest thing I've ever done. He cluster fed, so I felt like I breastfed him like every 20 minutes because I was his pacifier. It was hard. And I remember, I remember one night, my first year sitting right here in this floor. Y'all have heard this story before. Right here, crying my eyes out, telling my husband, I can't do this anymore. I'm tired, honey. Nobody will book a party with me. I, I'm tired. I can't do this anymore. You know what he said? I thought you wanted to be home with Aiden. He said, baby, if you want it bad enough, it'll happen. If you want it bad enough, you can't give up just because you're tired. You can't give up because people are ignoring you. You can't give up because there's nothing left inside of you. The little things add up to be the big things. The little tiny, 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 tiny things, that one party... I can tell y'all, everybody I've recruited came because I met them through a bag party. Real talk. Almost every single person that I've talked to. Every person that has I've sponsored has came from a bag party. Didn't know who they were. I followed up with them. Took care of them. Asked them, did they want a party? Did they want to be a host and get free stuff? Those little things that I didn't feel like doing, they added up. They added up. And because I was consistent for two and a half years, two and a half years is nothing, y'all, in the greater scheme of things. Two and a half years, I left my nursing job to be home with my baby. There's beauty and consistency. It can change your life. And looking back, three years ago, three falls ago, three winters ago, when I wanted to quit, when I sat in this floor and wanted to quit, If I would have quit, I would still be going to that job. If I would have quit. Some of you guys need to stop comparing your day one to my day 1200. Some of you need to quit comparing yourself to people that have been doing this for two or three years. Some of you need to quit Comparing yourself when other people promote or other people have high PRV, you don't know what it took to get there. You don't know what they had to do to dig down deep to get there. 
Stop comparing yourself. I'll tell you the best thing that I ever did. And I caught myself doing it last year. I caught myself doing this. I caught myself comparing myself to other people. And you know what happened? I spent more time focused on their journey than on my own. I would look at their stories and I'm like, oh my God, she's so cute. She's so funny. Oh my God, she posts the best stuff. Oh my God, I want to be like her. And guess what happened? I lost sight of my own journey. And I was so focused on what everybody else was doing that I fell off of my own journey. That's what happens when you drive a car. You drive in a car and you're too busy looking at what somebody else is listening to in the passenger side or in the other lane. You're going to swerve and you're going to wreck. Stop comparing yourself. The best thing that I ever did when I started, because we didn't have this team page, this this community we have was built. You know how it was built? With consistency. Because I wanted what my sponsor didn't give me when I joined. I wanted better for you guys. I wanted a community that gave more than they took. A community of togetherness. A community, a sisterhood. A place where we can come as you are. And when I say come as you are, that doesn't mean perfect. Because nobody is perfect. And I think often people don't want to share on this page because it's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Everybody's jacked up, y'all. Everybody is jacked up. Everybody has their own form of jacked upism. Pretty sure I just made that up. This community happened because of consistency. I remember doing train team <laughs> team trainings, and it was just me out there. <laughs> just me <laughs> talking to myself. Consistency consistency builds the greatest things in life but so many of you guys are looking at this platform in this group and you're too busy comparing when I do shout outs or comparing and saying to yourself I I can't do what she does so I quit I can't have high PRV so I quit I can't sponsor so I quit and that's not what this team page was for I'm going to encourage you this morning, if you're too busy looking at somebody else's journey, you're taking eyes off your own journey. And I'm telling you, the best thing that I ever did when I joined, I was going here and then I got veered off because that's where I am. I'm like a squirrel. Um, when I started, I had nobody to compare myself to. So guess what? I had my head down and I worked. I didn't have anybody to compare myself to. It was just, just the Lone Ranger. I didn't know what everybody else was doing. And I didn't care what everybody else was doing. I was focused on my journey and my goals. Some of you need to reality check yourself. Think about why you started. Think about why you started. This morning, before Monday, I'm actually glad I did it today instead of tomorrow. Before Monday, have you even had a day one? And when I mean a day one, can you tell yourself, do you do one thing in your business every single day? It doesn't have to be big. It don't have to be immaculate. Because the little things add up to create the big things. Because if you do one thing in your business, that's 30 things a month. 31, 29, whatever the month is. Those little things add up to create the big things. Whether you think it or not, those little tiny things add up to create the big things. Some of you guys want immaculate transformation, but you're not willing to go through the growing pains. You're not willing to suck. You're not willing to fail. Because if you fail once, you want to throw in the towel. And that's not how this works, y'all. I failed a million times. That's probably where this little thing came from that I just noticed. This little gray thing. That's going to bother me. <laughs> Let me call Shelly and get my highlights in, my low lights in. You have to suck for a while. You have to fail. Most importantly, you have to be consistent. Perseverance through the failures will help you find success. I'm going to say that again because I feel like I could, I feel like that's a pretty good quote actually. Perseverance through the failures will help you find success. Perseverance. You're not going to hear yes all the time. If you did, that would be no fun. You're not going to have people swarming to you, wanting to join your team, or swarming to you, want a party. It's 
That's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. But I can promise you, looking back at almost four years of doing this business, looking at all the times I cried, all the times I sucked, all the times I had no clue what I was doing, I'm thankful that above all of that, I was persevering through the failures. Because I persevered through the failures, I'm home with my baby. The greatest desire of my heart, I'm home with my child. I have financial freedom. I have freedom of time. And two and a half years was nothing in the greater scheme of things. So I want you to ask yourself this morning, is your dream, are your goals, are your dreams for your life, and I mean big dreams, because some of y'all are not dreaming big enough. I mean big dreams. Are your dreams worth two years of consistent work? And I'm here to tell you, if you go to college, you're going to do at least two or four years to get that degree, right? You're going to go to college to get a degree. You're going to go for two or four years. Are your dreams worth two years of consistent hard work? They are. And you are. Stop putting yourself in this little itty bitty box thinking, I'll never be Katie Lasseter. I don't want you to be me. I'm jacked up. I don't want you to be me. I want you to be Megan Fender. I want you to be Amber Willoughby. I want you to be Jacquez Boone or Twin. I want you to be Christy Longley. I want you to be you. And when you put yourself and your dreams in this tiny little box and you hold yourself back because you feel like that could never be you or that could never happen to you, you're limiting your capabilities and you're putting yourself inside of this box and you're setting yourself up for failure nobody has to tell you no because you're telling yourself no you don't even ask somebody to party or somebody do they want to get paid off their own sense of addiction do they want to join for the community you don't do those things because in your mind they're going to just say no they're just going to say no so i'm not going to ask them anyway you are killing the success that you can find in this business if you're doing that to yourself. So, I want to encourage you tomorrow. Tomorrow's your day one. If you haven't had a day one, tomorrow is your day one. Newsflash, y'all. When I start every month out, I pretend I'm a new consultant. Every month. I've been doing this almost four years. Every month, the first of every month, I pretend I'm a new consultant. Meaning, I hustle to get shooting star, I hustle to get sensational starts levels one, two, or three. Because here's the thing, y'all. I didn't earn those. I didn't earn sensational start. I did get shooting star, but it was barely. That's because my coworker felt bad for me. So she placed a big order. They hit shooting star. But I didn't earn sensational start. Stop comparing your day one. To my day 1200. The only difference between me and you. Is the amount of times I heard no. The amount of times I got ignored. And the amount of times I wanted to give up. That's the only difference between me and you. Stop comparing yourself to your sensey sister that's promoting. Or that's putting in high PRV. You know how she's getting high PRV? Because she's booking parties and following up with her customers. Instead of comparing yourself. Be a sponge. And learn what they're doing. When people do the hashtag, how are you working? Look at how they're working. Stop comparing yourself. Instead, be a sponge and soak up what are they doing. Do what successful people do. Learn from them. Be a sponge. That's one thing when I started, y'all. And even to this day, I'm a sponge. I want to learn. I want to learn what other people are doing to find success in this business. So, I'm going to wrap up. I want to keep y'all all Sunday. Let me take a sip of my go-go juice. If you haven't had a day one, tomorrow's your day one. Tomorrow's your day one. And the day after is your day two. And your day three. Meaning, do something in your business every day. Y'all, y'all want to see my stuff? Here's my list for tomorrow. Oop. And the list is gone. Follow-ups. Customer mail. That's it. 
that's it. My Monday task. It ain't got to be pretty, y'all. It ain't got to be pretty. But those follow-ups is how I'm going to build relationships with my customers. That's how I'm going to let them know I'm thinking of them. That I'm checking in on them. That tiny, tiny thing. When I follow up with these people, could be my next host. Could be the next person that joins Redeemed Blessings. I don't know. But I won't know unless I do them. Stop setting yourself up for, for failure. Stop thinking the worst of what could happen. What if it didn't happen? I see it all the time. I don't, I, I'm scared of what they'll think. I'm scared I'm bothering them. I'm scared of this. That's fear. And fear is going to hold you back from your greatest potential. Fear is what's going to hold you back from your fullest potential. The greatest things in life don't come from comfort zones. They don't come from comfort zones. Get uncomfortable. If you're comfortable in your business, get uncomfortable. Do something that scares you. Because those things, those things are what's going to impact and shift your entire business. The things that scare you. The things that scare you. Those follow-ups I do tomorrow, I don't know. But what if I didn't do them? What if I didn't do them? They'd go to somewhere else. They'd go to somebody else to get their sensey stuff from. What if I didn't ask that person, do they want to get free stuff? She wouldn't know. What if I didn't ask that host that already has $1,000 in orders, hey, do you want to join? Because you could already make a $250 paycheck and get your kit for free. What if I didn't do those things? My business wouldn't shift and my business wouldn't move. You have to get uncomfortable. Fall in love with being uncomfortable. Being vulnerable. Being you. Authentically you. Authenticity is one of our core values, y'all. Get uncomfortable. So, I said all that to say this and I'm going to wrap up. I love y'all so much and I pray over you guys. There's many times I ask myself... Am I doing enough for them? What else can I do for them? And at the end of the day, there's nothing else I can do. You have to want it. The tools are there. The resources are there. I have somebody message me last week. Where's that flyer that you put in your mail outs for people wanting to join? It's in the Guide to Growth Google form, y'all. Everything that I have is, is available in the Google Drives. I share everything with you guys. I can't make you implement them. I can't make you try them. I can't make you get uncomfortable. I can't make you do those things. You have to want to do those things. Make tomorrow your day one. Shock yourself. Shock yourself. If you haven't booked any parties, shock yourself this week and book one party. You'll fall in love with it. I'm telling you, you'll fall in love with it. If you haven't sponsored and you want to promote to lead, Ask that best customer, do they want to get paid off their stuff? Ask that customer of yours, hey, wouldn't you want to get paid off your own addiction? You'll fall in love with it, I'm telling you. You'll fall in love with it. But you can't fall in love with the yeses if you're not willing to fall in love with the noes too. Noes only get you closer to the yes. And if you're not hearing no, then you're not talking to enough people. Okay? I love you guys. Tomorrow's your day one. I want to hear it in the comments. And if you watch this replay, do hashtag replay. Hear it in the comments. Tomorrow's my day one. Ask yourself, have you been consistent? Have you consistently worked your business? And if the answer is no, I want you to say tomorrow is my day one. It stops. It stops today. Tomorrow is my day one. Tomorrow, I'm going to do one thing for my business. And I'm going to shock myself. Be proud of you. Be proud of yourself. This hair, y'all. Really should have done something about it before I got on this video. Shock yourself. Okay? Shock yourself. The resources are there. But nobody can make you do it. 
I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome Sunday. I'm cheering you. And there we go. I'm cheering y'all on. I'm rooting for you. I will forever be your biggest cheerleader. Always. We're more than sense that y'all were family. Y'all are my family. And I care so deeply about each and every single one of you. I love y'all. Tomorrow's your day one. Your day one. Put the excuses aside. Put the feelings aside. You'll never feel like it. You'll never. You think I felt like doing this video this morning looking like death? Ain't even had a full cup of coffee yet? No. Doesn't matter how I feel though. Those feelings come and go. Feelings are temporary. Feelings are temporary. Actions are forever. Act. Don't say what you'll do. Do what you say you're going to do. And shock yourself. I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.